Hey guys, and welcome to another TTK tutorial here on the Quadra Legacy channel. In this video, we'll take a look at the TTK separator. The TTK separator is one of the six videos introduced by TTK, and it's one of the more, more minor ones, and it doesn't really do much. The only thing it does is draws a line. Yes, it draws a line. That's all it does. And as the name implies, it's basically used to separate widgets, kind of. Like you have two widgets, then you can kind of draw the separator between them to sort of, you know, so, show some separation. It's, I guess it's good if you have a whole bunch of widgets packed into a small space and you want to show that uh, there's some grouping being done, okay? Uh, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and demonstrate this real quick, okay? I'll just create a frame here, okay? And master, all right, pack the frame in. And then we'll create some widgets, just one or two widgets, so that we can sort of show the, the separator separating them, okay? And this will be frame. Text will be something simple like hello world, okay? Pack the label in, dot pack, pad x equal to five, pad y is equal to five. Let's just copy the label and there we go. All right, so now we need to separate these two widgets. Because if I run this code, currently, uh, you know, what if we want to sort of show a line between them, just draw a line between them? So let's try and do that. And I'll just define the size of the window as well, just so it looks a bit, a bit better. Geometry, 200 by 150. Good enough. All right. So I'll make the separator. I'll just call it sep ttk dot separator. Okay, frame. And there is a parameter, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's just do this step by step. Pad x is equal to five. Pad y is equal to five. And there we go. All right. Uh, the separator actually has shown up, but you can't see it. Because, I mean, well, maybe you can. It's that tiny little dot over here. You see this tiny dot? Because it's basically on its default size right now. Okay? As it turns out, there isn't really any way you can actually change its size. You can't do something like width is equal to 200 here or something. You can't do that. Uh, what you actually do is this. Fill is equal to tk dot y. Or actually, in this case, it's x. Okay? and expand is equal to true, okay? Let's see if this works. Yes, there we go. All right, now let me just explain the logic behind this and what's really going on here. All right, basically, fill uh, allows it to expand, okay? It can take three options. Fill can be tk.x, tk.y, which means uh, to either expand in the x direction or in the y direction, or it can be tk.both, which, which means expand in both directions. But in this case, we want it to expand in the x direction, right? We want the separator to expand in the, on, along the x axis, okay? And we need to turn the expand is equal to true option on because this is a disabled by default. The expand is equal to true option is something available on you know, pretty much all widgets. And it's basically used to determine whether it'll increase its size to fill all available space, okay? If it's true, then it'll expand, okay? Because currently it's expanded to the size of the frame, the size of the frame around it, okay? You can't see the frame right now. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me just do this. No? All right, let's just go with this then. Okay, of course, of course. This is a TTK frame. All right, all right, all right. I got it. All right, so uh, TTK actually changed this system. TTK actually, uh, you should look this up in my first tutorial uh, where I explained this on TTK. But in TTK, you can't use background and the uh, border like that anymore. Okay, there's a different system for it. It's called styling. Anyways, so over here you can see the green background. The green background is basically showing you the size of the frame. And you can see that the separator has expanded to fill that frame. 
Okay, there's a little uh, space over there, and that's because of because of the padding. Okay, so what if I wanted to make the separator even larger to fill up the entire window? Well, for that, I need to change the frame, the settings of the frame. So I need to set the frame to expand and allow it to expand in both directions. Okay, so if I do this, then let me just let me just turn that off. Okay. All right, so there you go. There you can see that the widget positions have changed as well because, of course, the size of the widget changed, uh, the size of the frame changed. Uh, but most importantly, we can see that the separator has uh, now you know grown to fit the entire window. Okay, not just a small part. So this is, this is just some techniques. Okay, and there's one more thing, of course. I can't believe I almost forgot this, but it's the orientation. By default, it's tk.horizontal. You can do tk.vertical. And uh, of course, hold on, hold on. You need to change the fill to tk.y. All right, so that's basically uh, our separator. Okay, there isn't much to it. And mostly it was just related to these fill and expand commands and the orient. That's all there was to it. So I hope you guys found this video interesting. I hope you guys learned something new today. And I hope you guys subscribe to the channel and stay updated with future videos. All right, see you later.